Allen and say your name. Hey guys. <laughs> With Up North Outdoors, uh, today we got we got a good response on the house video of doing house stuff. So we're gonna do another house video tonight. This is actually the same day that I just made that taking that bed off the fort. It's probably posted tomorrow. So whatever. You guys don't care. So uh, we got this wall right here. And when I walk here, it's short. I, I hit my head. Um, it's basically this opening from what's a living room or bedroom into kitchen, but it's short. You hit your head on it. And I don't know. And there's already a doorway right here into the kitchen. And Brandon, this is going to be Brandon's room for like that month or two that we live in here. This is going to be Brandon's room. So uh, he kind of doesn't want a gaping hole into the kitchen anyway. And then if we ever open up this house and rent it out as a four bedroom, this would be a bedroom as well. They don't want a hole opened up to the kitchen. And you couldn't really put a door on here because it's way too short. So what we're going to do here, we already pulled, Brandon pulled all the trim off of it while I was gone, as you can see there. Um, we're going to between today tonight and tomorrow we're going to frame frame up a wall here and then throw sheetrock over it putty it and then uh primer it and then hopefully we can get to doing some painting tomorrow as well so this video is gonna roll like we're gonna get some done tonight and then the rest tomorrow so yeah that's kind of what we're what we are doing right now so i am kind of exhausted i'm sure brandon is too but yeah Dude, that stuff is all just rotted and nasty up there. It's based that screws out. I had to do that. Where's the last screw? Or is it even... Oh, is there one? No. Oh. Hey, you good? <laughs> I yeah. guess that works. So I was talking. Yeah, that's gonna be nice to be able to just get a flat. Did you grab a vacuum from your house? No. You didn't? jagged and uneven and it was kind of it's a crap show we were kind of hoping it was just sheetrock but it wasn't so i think we're just gonna throw trim back up on there and call it good for now so uh because basically the reason we wanted to block that off was so if that renter ever moves out downstairs then we can open up the entire house and rent out the entire house and make that living room upstairs as a fourth bedroom I think that's what it used to be um, but I think we're just gonna leave it open for now because that renter lady seems like she wants to stay down there for a while and that means we're probably gonna be renting out the upstairs and then we'll probably rent out the upstairs in the one bedroom living room and kitchen so it'll be okay being opened up Brandon's gonna stay in that living room um, as his bedroom when we live up there for like a month or two so but I mean we can just throw a curtain over it or something it's not a big deal we'll make it work while we're up there but uh yeah, so then if she ever does end up moving out and we do want to open up the house, then we can tackle trying to throw a wall up there. But I think what we can do today, we kind of broke some of the trim taking that off. So I think we're going to get trim that back out, probably get some new trim, throw some white primer on it, 
and then we want to pick out a paint color and we want to try to get that hole upstairs painted today so that's kind of the plan for today that's what we're going to be doing you guys seem to enjoy the last house video so hopefully you'll enjoy this one hopefully you're not too mad i'm not doing a truck video today i last couple ones were some pretty sweet truck videos in my opinion though so for the truck guys hopefully that can uh keep you happy guys so way off topic but I kind of just found out about the Gambler 500. I don't know if you guys know about that, but it's where you basically build like, you get like a $500 car or a little pickup, just an absolute junker beater and drive 500 miles with it through like trails and stuff in the mountains. And I want to do it. So you basically build a rally car, like a $500 rally car. So I'm gonna start looking for, I'm gonna start looking for a $500 all wheel drive car throw some bigger tires on it, throw a little body lift or something on it, throw some skid plates on it, throw a rough rack on it, and just rip the crap out of it. And I've talked about before wanting, I'm probably gonna be selling this truck and I'm wanting to get a daily anyway. And if I build one of those cars, I'd honestly daily it, especially during the winter, I don't care. So I just wanted to throw it out there and get you guys' opinion on that. So we're gonna start with painting this room, getting it all taped. What? What are you doing? I'm messing up. <laughs> um, the color we're going with, in case any of you guys are interested, it's a mixed one from Sherwin Williams. It's uh, repost gray. So that's the color we're going with. Uh, we actually painted, my dad's welding shop painted that color. And then his girlfriend's house has like a similar color to it too. So we've kind of seen the color. We like the look of it. It's a really neutral color that can really go with anything so that's what we're gonna be painting the bedroom and the living room slash brandon's temporary bedroom as well so we'll see what it looks like once we get it up but i have a feeling it'll look pretty good we got the whole room taped off and we got Basically painted everywhere on all the edges, so we're pretty much ready to start rolling. Painted here. Got the back section, most of this wall. What a difference. What a difference it makes in here. It looks to look makes it look so much nicer because there's especially compared to that blue color that it was before. It's looking really good. So probably turn the cam back on once we get her all painted up. We got most of these walls painted up, looking good. Um, so here's the old white you can see, well, the white primer. It was that nasty blue. If you haven't seen the first video on us getting this house, make sure you go check it out. Yeah, it was a nasty blue color under this. Threw some white primer over it, and now we're doing uh, paint colors repost gray over the walls, and it's looking really nice in here. I'm really happy with it. I think Brandon's pretty happy with it too. It looks yeah. Looking good. Huge difference, and it's sticking on really good. Um, we went a little bit overboard with the primer, but to, to be honest, it's working out fine because we're probably gonna be able to get away with just doing one coat of paint now because of that. Because it's it's sticking to it good, and we don't have any blue or nothing like that bleeding through. Well, I guess that's that's what the primer looked like in that other room. So it looks like in here now. It looks good. We still got some spots to touch up with the brushes and stuff but for the most part, it looks pretty gosh dang good in here. So we're gonna touch up those spots with the brushes in here, then finish taping out th off that room and paint that one up. Oh, about nine o'clock, we're gonna call it a night. This color didn't turn out be to be actually what we wanted to. It was supposed to be more, it was supposed to be more darker gray than what it is. So we're a little disappointed about that, but it looks fine. A lot better than what it was. We need to throw on a second coat tomorrow morning. I think Bray and I will. Um, just because there's a few white spots sticking out some, in some areas. So we're going to throw on just a thin, quick second coat tomorrow. And then I think we'll be pretty good. It looks so much better than what it did. It looks so good. And then I think it's going to look a lot better too when we pull the tape off and we get all the white trim popping too with this color. I think it'll look pretty decent. We still gotta put new trim on that because, yeah. So 
So today's Sunday. Um, it's also the last weekend of deer season. And as you can see, I'm not hunting. I am going to work on the house. So, oh, I should just stop. <laughs> so if you guys have something that you're really wanting to accomplish in life and that you, you really want to get done, you really want to accomplish a goal, you really want to reach, sometimes you have to sacrifice fun things. Sometimes you have to sacrifice other things that you would prefer to be doing. But to reach that goal, it takes sacrifice. And there's nothing else I'd rather be doing than be hunting all weekend and had to have been able to hunt last weekend. But there's things I need to get done in this house. And I want to be successful. I want to be able to grow this rental thing into a business. So it takes sacrifice. So just kind of my little uh, tip for you guys today is uh, if you want to reach your goals, it's going to take sacrifice. And that isn't just on a business standpoint either. Um, it also goes with relationships and it also goes with relationship with Jesus. Um, both of them, let's say like with Murray, it, it takes sacrifice. It takes sacrifice to keep a good relationship going. Um, you have to sacrifice things that you like to do for them. And that's the same with having a relationship with Jesus, is it takes sacrifice. You need to sacrifice worldly things that maybe you before like to do for him. Just eating my $55,000 pie right here for breakfast because we got given these pies. It was like a thank you thing. So, it's pretty good though. It's actually pretty good. Brandon's already been here. He finished doing the second coat on the first room. I we just gotta do the other room. If we have time, maybe get that trim up. First room is basically finished. We got the second coat on. Um, we're gonna peel the tape off here once we've finished doing the second coat in the other room and then we'll really get to see what she's looking like. Working on second coat in the second room here. Cracking open the third can of paint and yeah, three cans of paint was basically perfect because we used two cans of paint and we were able to get two coats in that room and then we were able to get one in a third coat in here with just two cans. So we're gonna have like a decent amount left over. So if in the future, if we have to do a little touch ups and stuff, we'll, we'll still have that, which is nice. So three cans was dang near perfect. Room number one here, basically finished. We got to touch up a little bit of white on the ceilings, a couple spots where we nicked it with paint, but that's fine. We are going to pull all of the tape off out of here. We're going to pull all the plastic up, throw it all away and see what the room looks like. I'm excited. You excited, Brandon? Let's do this. Yep. Okay. You got a little paint in here. <laughs> Uh, yeah, don't lean into a wall. <laughs> yeah, I'll just show you after. I need both hands. Oh, I stepped on a bunch of plastic, or I mean a bunch of paint again. Yeah, that's where we got a touch up up there pretty bad. Brandon, it wasn't that bad yesterday. How'd you do it that bad today? How did you do that? This tape kind of sucks a lot worse than what we thought to take off. Not very fun. Plastic up, basically done. We got a vacuum. There's a few spots we're gonna end up having to touch up in the future, but for the most part, the room is done. Looks a million times better than that ugly baby blue that was in here. Uh, it's not as gray as what we want it to be. It's kind of more of a tan than a gray like it was supposed to be. But it looks fine. It's a nice neutral color. Really go with anything. Looks pretty good. We are happy with it. All right, guys. I'm going to be finishing up this video here. Um, we got a lot done in that house. Got those rooms finished painted. And that's kind of 
honestly one of the longest jobs we needed to do for that upstairs uh what we have left is we need to rip out the shelving in the kitchen that takes up a bunch of space we need to bit put the trim back up in that doorway there new trim up um and then we have to get a microwave in there and then we have to take that old fridge out there which is going to be kind of be a pain getting it out down all those stairs and everything it's a big fridge but it's the fridge is nasty it smells like mold and stuff and we want to get something smaller in there anyway since that kitchen is already so small we don't need a gigantic fridge taking up half the kitchen so we want to get a new fridge to get in there new microwave to get in there um, get some stainless ones too it looks a little make it will make it look a little better but yeah we don't have too much to do hopefully by next weekend we'll be moving our stuff in there and be able to get the editing set up and everything in there too it'll be pretty sweet i'm really excited um so if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you click that thumbs up button it helps a ton um if you're not subscribed already hit that subscribe button we're gonna be doing a series on this house and future houses too and then of course i have a ton of truck videos off-roading videos all that sweet stuff too and hit that notification bell if you haven't already um because my videos then always show up in people's feeds so then you will know for sure when i post a video and you can follow me on instagram up north outdoors with a z link is in the description you guys god bless thank you lord for letting me do this god bless guys and i will see you in the next one